Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am gonna give you the overview for Purity ROM for Nexus 5. Now this ROM is based on AOSP. So let's check it out. Now this ROM provides Android version 5.0.2. I am running the latest build of Purity that released on 14th of Feb 2015. Now let's check out the customization provided by this ROM. On the customization menu can be seen under tab called Purity, where you can find all the customization provided by this ROM. Now here the first option is status bar. You can customize the clock and date, means you can change the alignment of a clock to center or right. Then you can enable the AMPM indicator, then you can enable the date indicator. You can also choose different date format from this option. Then next is battery. Where you can customize the battery icon style to icon portrait, icon landscape, circle, text or hidden. You can also enable the battery percentage inside the icon next to icon or keep it hidden. Then next option is brightness control. You can enable the brightness control over the status bar. Means you can adjust your brightness just by swiping your finger across status bar. Then next is double tap to sleep. You can enable the double tap to sleep feature over the status bar. Then next option is network traffic. You can enable the traffic monitor on your status bar. So it will show the up and down speed of a network. You can customize the display unit and update interval of the monitor. You can also auto hide the monitor if the network is inactive. Then the next customization option is quick setting. You can customize the quick setting menu through this option. Now here the first option is quick pull down. You can enable the quick pull down of quick setting from a right edge of status bar. Then next is disable on lock screen. You can disable the quick setting menu on your lock screen if you are using a secure lock screen. Then next option is tile where you can change the order of a tile. To change the order of a tile just hold and drag the tile to a required position. You can also add the tiles to the quick setting menu. Then next is enlarge first row. You can enlarge the first row of the quick setting menu. Then next is show brightness slider. You can enable the or disable the brightness slider in quick setting menu. The next option is advanced location quick setting. You can enable the advanced menu for the location toggle in quick setting menu. The next customization is power menu. You can customize the power menu here. So you can customize your power menu by choosing between these toggles. The next option is expanded desktop. You can enable the expanded desktop for all system or you can enable it for a specific app. The next option is you can customize the navigation bar. The next option is show arrow keys while typing. It will show the arrow keys on navigation bar. So it will be easy to move the cursor while typing. Then you can customize the button and layout of the navigation bar. Just click on edit button. You can add up to 5 buttons in your navigation bar and you can assign different functions for this button. As you can see I have enabled the power button means it will turn off my screen when I click on the power button. Then next is navigation bar height. You can customize the navigation bar height here. Then next option is navigation ring target. You can customize the navigation ring target. You can keep custom targets as you can see I have enabled 2 apps in the ring target just click on the target and you can choose the system assign function or you can also choose a specific app for a ring target the next option is recents menu where you can enable the clear all button and you can also change the button position to top left top right bottom left bottom right now the rom has also provided the privacy settings so you can enable the privacy guard for a specific app. Now this ROM has a official layer support. So you can theme this ROM using a RRO overlays. You can check out my RRO overlays playlist. So you will get idea about applying overlays and the different overlays available. So it's a very easy and simple process of theming. Now talking about battery life. I have tested the battery life of this ROM in two ways. One the stock kernel and one with a port blue kernel. Now by using stock kernel, the battery lasted me along a one day with a SOT of three to three and a half hours. 
and with the code blue kernel the battle lasted me about one day with the sot of nearly three and a half hours but by using code blue kernel the rom has pretty good standby battle life so i will recommend to you to install this rom with the code blue kernel it will give you the best performance in terms of battle life now this rom is a pretty smooth fluid and blazingly fast in terms of operation you will never notice any lag in a high end gaming or in multitasking so it's a very smooth and stable rom so i will recommend to you to check out this rom i will post the link for this rom in my description so thank you for watching my video so if you like this video please hit the like button below and share this video and you can also follow me on google plus facebook and my blog thank you for watching my video i will see you in my next video